I hit. This area of the hideout appears to have been sealed off deliberately. The only means of opening the gate is by brute strength alone. I guess I have a high enough strength score. That makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And these are disturbing to look at. Fantastic. Well, if you can jump high enough, you could probably clamber in. Wait. What? Hold on. Can I actually pull that off? Can I pull myself up? <laughs> the game doesn't know. The game does not know. It seems not. Maybe if I drank a, ju a jump potion. I will go purge the spider infestation while we're here. This area of the hideout. No wonder it was sealed off. <sighs> Found his badge. Wonder why it was in here. Maybe this whole infestation is a recent thing. Cobalt came in with it, ended up getting killed. Regardless, we found his badge, now we can get the fuck out of here. Oh, that was easy to get out. Somehow I've f I figured the, uh, give them long enough, they could have probably gotten out. Right, we've got nine more of those dragon shards. Two more gems. I don't mind having bigger, you know, collectible bags, bigger gem bags. I wonder how I get set about getting those. Probably have to be a higher level. Maybe I have to use real money. You, you dumb come in here. Me kill you good. Second. S Signet of the Devourer. Your backpack is overflowing. You must empty some slots. Signet of the Devourer. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I killed my way through one of its cults and uh, I didn't find anything. I only found something on a random bugbear who wasn't actually even a member of its cult. Uh, curse spewing heavy pick of vertigo. Fantastic. Okay, I have to get this. It's probably worth plenty. We'll give it to you. We'll get you. Ah. I had taken the Signet of the Devourer, but it was like held? It wasn't really in my inventory, it seems. Interesting. Annoying. Okay, get rid of you and you. We're just on this dungeon now, so we'll be able to go sell off everything down the bow. Oh, you? No point really coming in here if I don't turn that. Or pull that, I should say. We're getting a fair bit of XP. Kind of makes up for, you know, boxing up the last bit. Kind of, I'm still annoyed about that. <sighs> eh, I'll get it done in another time. Ha! Nice. Oh, I was waiting for that. Potion Mage Armor. You know, maybe if I buffed up enough. Let's 
So, yep, one count misadventure. <laughs> uh. yeah, there's the trap. I was wondering where it exactly was. I hadn't seen its exact positioning. So. I wasn't sure. I've also broke. Oh, uh, one breakable was lost in misadventure, but over uh, f 245 have been broken. 244 by me. Oh, Christ. Gong rings out, alerting everything nearby to your presence. Considering they can all be handled with an easy axe swing, that's not really a big deal. Now, oh. 27 life, uh, healing from that. Not bad. Break everything here first. Hmm. Stand in the fire. Rest. <laughs> just throw, just throw a dwarf on the on the fire. It's a, it'll kin, uh, it serves a kin, uh, uh, serves as fantastic kindling. Dwarves, as we all know, are more flammable than humans. You know, due to the fact they're steeped in alcohol from birth. Did I actually manage to break that and back up off enough? Well, that's nice. Wasn't sure if it's a case of me not being close enough or misangling. Because there's like, like I'm, I'm not really getting used to the like the distance I can attack from, so I'm either getting too close or too far. Ah, uh, here's the chieftain. And there goes the chieftain. Ooh, blood knuckles. No one can kill my kobolds except me. You die now. Uh, I'm able to have lost empire, string of prayer beads. May want to deal with the uh, I'm with the boss empire before I go anywhere. Um, and just if my packs are overflowing, you know, I, m I might be left here if I leave. I'm not really sure how this system's working. Like, if I if I delete one of these items, then I'll get the uh, I'm with the boss empire. I go take up, and uh, then I'll take up an inventory slot. <coughs> oh, sorry. But, you know, if I get rid of uh, you, let's say I get rid of this thing, only then, now, the Amount of Lost Empire will take up this slot. Not before. So, this was like held off to one side, not in my inventory. So I'm thinking that if I was to leave the dungeon while it's not properly in my inventory, then I don't get to keep it. So, one second, just need to turn off this radiator. Alright, I'm back. Let us see... Mm, this way. I've already broken everything there, so may as well look at this side. <laughs> Nobody can kill my kobolds except me. Oh, it's so nice to be loved, I'm sure. The Disable device plus three, use magic device plus one. 
get rid of this Ember Longsword. I hmm, kind of almost don't want to get rid of that. I kind of want to stick it in my bank. Just as so like, this is my first proper weapon. Get nostalgic and uh, first stuff quite quickly. Let's just get rid of the Potion of Cat's Grace. Okay. We are done here, but let's make sure we get as much food as possible. Yeah, we are done here now. Alright, finish. Also, I do love how he didn't even bother opening the door. He just, like, smashed it down. Well, he really wanted to make the entrance, and he does admire the Kool-Aid Man. So, it was the only course of action. Do we still have the, the guard's brooch in our inventory? Yeah. Huh. Normally, those that kind of stuff drop when you leave. Uh, thanks for getting my badge back. One of the other guards spent a week in the stockade for losing his. And you dealt with Bonebite's new ogre leader, too. Well done. Ah, so the was the kobold. It was the, the ogre, yeah. Makes sense, judging from his comment as well. Some, the other guy had the kobold model. You know, the kobold chieftain model. I figured he was the boss, but no, no. It was the ogre. Uh... It improves your st stunning blow and stunning fist attempts. I love one of the Vorpal Blades, but no. Sadly, none of the gear here I can actually justify wearing. What's worth the most? They're all worth 1,200, 400, 1,202, 1,202. Uh, feeding. Your target incurs uh, one uh, negative unvorpal hit. Your target uh, incurs one negative level. You gain five temporary hit points. They last for a minute. Aren't used to negate incoming damage. An ancient sword with a heavy spine and a single blade. Do swords normally have spines? And here I thought they were invertebrates. Or however you fucking pronounce that. Sure, repair. Sell. You. Hold on to that. So you, you, you. Hold on to you. I think these gems are only useful for vendoring them. I think they are just set up as vendor trash. Don't seem seem like I can use scrolls, so there's no point in me having that. Uh, so. Nice. Made a fair bit of cash there. There's also... Well, first I can talk to you. Yeah, I'd be bouncing this place. Why you laugh? You think they give this job to anyone? Anyway, the rules is no spitting, no biting, no gambling. No, or else. Rogue warriors, rogues, and fellow casters from across Zendrick gather to do battle. Would you like to join them? Can you tell me about arenas? There's capture flag and... Deathmatch. Not interested. He looks up briefly from financial records. I'm sorry, but you lack the expertise for my line of work. I'm investigating a case that involves the most vicious players in the Stormreach underworld. I could not, in good conscience, throw you into such a den of basilisks. I have to get to level 7. Okay. Ooh, we are out here now. Alright then. Uh, 
Smuggler's Warehouse. It's for defense. Uh, you suspect he's not quite honest about the dangers of this dim warehouse. <laughs> yeah, we can kind of gather that from the, uh, you know, loading screen art. This place stinks of kobolds and decaying trash. Vermin scurry away from your footsteps. Just, uh, fixing my headset. Hold on, let me just clamber up here. Just looking at the map, I'm always paranoid of missing a secret area. Maybe it's something else. Oh no, a kobold sentry sounded the alarm. Whatever will I do? Easily kill the, you know, guys rushing to defend. Seems easy enough. I don't know, the wind is kind of... Hold on. The wind's kind of after coming out of me with, for... Ooh. Another enemy? Ow. wind's after kind of coming out of me for for this. I like the, you know, like you get hyped for playing a game. I was kind of hyped for it for a while, but now I'm after burning out a little. Just purely because, um... Like, you know, when you start off that opening questing, there's a real, like push to it. There's like a storyline that you're following and whatnot. Here, we're just doing random jobs around the place. We're just doing odd jobs. And it's kind of meandering, really. And uh, I feel it would be more fun if I was playing with people. But I'm not. It doesn't seem like it can. Uh... These goggles. No, they're just passive. It's not often you see goggles having their own dedicated damn slot in the game. What, did they tame a scorpion? Kobolds are milling about in the space beyond, rummaging through trash and spitting curses at one another. go batter these guys down. It won't take too long, let's be honest here. So, oh, it's also uh, funny. We're doing a job here for it's... it's well... The guy is apparently... Ooh. Well, the guy is a fence. We're trying to go get a smuggler's gems for him. When, in, in, you know, in another mission, we shut down a, smuggler, a smuggler's ring. Truly, adventurers are a... Uh, Morally ambiguous sort. Come. Let me get these. Thank you. Grab some silver pieces. I'll try and kill that guy in a moment. Christ, this place is large. why I would want to close that. Oh, sentry. Well, pull him apart, limb from limb. Thank you. Don't always want to kill enemies the moment you see them. The kobolds chant and shriek nonsensically as they caper about a crude shrine to strange gods. Mm, can't do unreal about it. Is this how you open it? No. But that's how you open that. Come on. Thank you. Those two down. Dead. Buddy shamans. Ah, beautiful. Awesome, really expecting that to work. It gave it a try anyway, on the off chance, but wasn't really expecting it. 